welcome to another wonderful section with me in this section we'll be talking about adobe illustrator yes adobe illustrator is another design software that is very wonderful you can use it to do so many types of designs it is mostly used for logo designs and illustrations yes but you can use it for logo design and poster designs when you already know how to use the tools and that is what we i'm going to teach you in this training as we move on i'm going to expose you to so many many things you can do with your adobe illustrator and as we move on we'll move to other softwares as well okay so the very first thing is this interface when you open your adobe illustrator this is the very first thing you are going to see you have um on this side you have create new and you have open yes create new means if you want to create a new document and open means if you want to open an existing document maybe you've worked on the design before and you just want to open it you can just click on open to view that document and open it okay so here are some artboard sizes that you can work with these things are called um artboard sizes you have the letter size you have the postcard size you have this common you have the iphone x you have the hdv and so on now under recent you have some of the recent projects you've worked on so basically these are some of the projects i've worked on recently okay so let us create new since we are just getting to work with this software so let me create new okay so when i click on create new it's going to show me this interface here where i get to select the size of the art board i want to work with okay so here are some of the recent art board sizes i've worked with and on this right hand side you see this preset details here you can change the name so let us say um softer one logo let's just put it like that okay so this is where you get to name the particular document now this is where you now get to um select the size you want to use so assuming we are working with a square shape so basically we'll be using 1080 by 1080 that is the standard size for instagram post so let us use that so 1080 pixel by 1080 pixel and here you have so many many um, um base of measurement you can use pixel you can use points you can use inches and so on but let us use pixel okay then this art board means how many art boards do you want if you want to create four you can you can just increase it to four it means um assuming you want to create four designs you can just make it for here if you want to make one you can just make it one okay so let's leave it at one then um this top left and all this you don't need to touch all this you don't need to touch them just leave it the way they are then advanced option you have nothing to do here but you just have to ensure that your color mode is rgb remember at the beginning of this training i explained all this to you so don't let us waste too much time let us get started okay so the next thing we need to do after selecting after imputing the size of the arts board we want to use we just click on create so it's going to open this interface for us so guys welcome to the adobe illustrator interface this is where all the designs will be done this is where everything will be cooked up like i used to say and this is where you get to do everything so the very first thing you would need to know in this adobe illustrator is your tools yes it is very very important as a graphic designer to know your tools that is how you can now get to um put your creative thinking into reality okay so the very first thing you have here is the selection tool this is basically used to select objects so assuming we have an object here so the selection tool is what you use to select the object basically so if you hold it down you can uh, you can just drag it move it around you understand so the selection tool is what you use to select objects and move the object around just like this okay so let me delete now the next one is this direct selection tool the direct selection tool is almost the same as the selection tool let me draw a shape again now the direct selection tool can be used to select objects even if they are in groups and you can also use it to change the edges 
if you want to make it a rounded edges or a sharp edge you can as well use it to change the edges by holding on this point here and dragging it as you can see the way i'm doing it i just select this point and i drag so now the good thing about it is that i can do that from any angle and just drag can you see but if i want to um just make only one edge um a little bit curve i just hold down shift then i click on it then i drag can you see i'm holding down shift that's the reason why i can drag only this one okay so that is that very very simple now the next tool you will be working with is um the pen tool as you can see the pen tool the pen tool is basically used to draw um shapes various shapes and it is also used to trace if you want to trace out uh, maybe you already have a logo somewhere and you just want to trace it out you can use the pen tool to trace it out okay so um under the pen tool you have the add anchor points you have the delete anchor points and anchor points too the anchor points means if you want to add more points to it maybe you want to add more points now if you add more points if you now click on the direct selection tool you can use it to bend and move that point around i hope you understand can you see so it is just very simple and straightforward so let's move to the next one which is the coffee jar tool the curvature tool is a very very interesting tool i like it so much because it is very very easy to work with the curvature tool is as well used to draw it is similar to the um, pen tool but the only difference is that it, this one is much more easier to um, create curves you can easily use this one to create curves compared to the pen tool so assuming i just do this this way i can add anchor points then adjust it immediately can you see then i can move the anchor points from one place to another and it will still make sense can you see i am moving this all i'm just doing is i'm just holding down the right key of my mouse yes i'm not holding shift or anything just the key the mouse key so can you see very simple and straightforward so assuming i want to trace something i can easily use this to trace it and draw it can you see very simple so that is how easy the um, curvature tool is so let me click on the selection tool now if i want to delete this thing all i just need to do is i light it normally then i click on delete very simple and straightforward another very important tool you need to know is the um text tool the text tool is basically used to type if you want to type any text that is what you use okay so let's say i want to type softer i click on the direct the selection tool then i hold down shift and drag it by the edge to make it perfectly resized if i don't hold down shift and i just drag it it will distort the text can you see it will distort the text just like we did in the canva remember okay so the um text tool is basically used to type if you want to type anything that is what you use now you have other options in the text tool you have the area type tool now this area type tool is used to type um if you want to type within um a, an area you can use it to type can you see so i filled this shape with text can you see now so that is how it works now the other option you have is um type on parts is almost the same thing too then um vertical type two this one is used to type vertically just like this can you see let me make it bold so that i can see it very well can you see so guys this thing is just very simple it is just very very simple okay so let's move to the next one the next one is the line segments too basically this is just used to draw lines it's just used to draw lines can you see is used to draw lines can you see it's just used to draw lines so if you want to draw any line you can use this line tool to draw the line okay all you just need to do is left click on your mouse and drag it to anywhere you want the line to go now if you want it to be very straight just hold down shift and it will maintain a very straight line okay so very simple now um what other options do we have 
okay we have the act two it is more like drawing a curve a curve line can you see can you see it's more like drawing a curve line now the next one is the spiral two um this one too is very very simple just hold it down then you draw a spiral very very simple so all this it all depends on the design you are working on that is what will determine the particular tool you need to use okay so now let's move to the um, rectangle tool basically the rectangle tool is used to draw a rectangle as you can see uh, you can use this to draw any rectangle but if you hold down shift it will make it a perfect square can you see it will make it a perfect square if i if i release this shift now it will make it a rectangle and it can be moved anyhow okay so um, under the rectangle tool, we have other shapes there. We have the rounded rectangle tool. Basically, this is just a rectangle with rounded edges. Okay. Now, the next one is the eclipse tool. This one is used to draw circle. Can you see? It's because I'm not holding down shift. That's why it's moving in here. But if I hold down shift, it will give me a perfect circle. Can you see? This is very, very easy to work with. Okay. So the next one under there is the polygon tool. Now, the polygon tool is very simple. All you just need to do is um, left click on your mouse, then you select the sizes you want, then you press OK. Can you see? Then I hold down Shift and enlarge it. Very simple. If I click on it and press 6, it will give me 6 sides. Can you see? Then I enlarge it. Very simple. Very simple. Okay, so that is that. Now, we have the um, paint brush tool. The paint brush tool is basically used to draw lines like painting. So if you want to, maybe you want to add your signature to your design, you can just use it to add your signature. Or if you want to sketch out something, you can as well use it to sketch it out. So basically, you just need to practice it. And it is also used to draw little designs, you know. I, I'm sure you must have seen things like this in designs before or something like this. You understand so this is what they used to do it okay okay so let's move on another vital tool you would need to work with is the eraser tool yes the eraser tool is basically used to erase um, some part out of your design you know so basically used to erase so the next thing you would also need to work with is um, the width tool yes this width tool is very important it is basically used to um, adjust the width of your design can you see all i need to do is just hold it down hold my uh, mouse down then resize the width can you see can you see so if i want to just make everything big that is what i'll just hold and i'll resize it very very simple can you see the way i'm doing it so basically that is it then another important tool is the shape builder tool the shape builder tool is used to um, make things come together basically so if i if i have this shape okay let me just clear everything let me clear everything so let's assume i have this rectangle i have this rectangle here let me increase the width then i have another rectangle here okay so what i can do with the shape builder tool is i can highlight this two then click on the shape builder and merge the two together can you see very simple all i did was i just um left click on my mouse and drag it can you see very simple so those are the very important tools you need then another important tool you need is this eyedropper tool very very important guys eyedropper tool is very very important this eyedropper tool is used to um i drop colors yes let me just let me draw something and give it a color okay so look at this now now let me draw something else then let me change this color so with this now okay with this if i want to make this um this particular one this same color all i just need to do is select it click on the eyedropper tool then i select this one can you see let me do that again if i want to make this blue color the same with this um, purple color all i need to do is select this blue color click on my eyedropper tool 
then I select this particular one, then it will, it will bring out this particular shade. Can you see? Very, very simple. So those are the major tools you need. Those are the major tools you'll be working with. As, you, as we move on, I'll be explaining the other tools that we'll be working with. But these are the basic tools you need for now. So let's move to the right hand side of the um, of the dashboard. On the right hand side, you have properties, you have layout, you have libraries. Okay, so first of all, properties. Property will tell you everything you need to know about the particular object you are working with. Like this rectangle now is telling us the size. This is telling us the color. The fill means the color. The stroke means this line you are seeing. It will tell us the size of the line and the color of the line. So if I select this one now and I will change the color, I click on this and select this, it will change the color. So this is a stroke. This is a fill. The color inside is called a fill. The color, the line outside is called a stroke. I hope you understand. So if I want to add fill to this, all I just need to do is select the color and put in the color I want. Very simple. I hope this is clear. So with that, this opacity means the transparency. How transparent do you want it to look? If I reduce it to zero, it will become invisible. If I could reduce it to 40, can you see? So it's just the transparency. So alignment, I can align it to the center, align it to the left, align it to the right. Guys, it is just very simple. Illustrator is very easy to work with because you have everything you need there. Then quick action, if you want to recolor, if you want to offset parts, guys, don't worry, when we move on, I'll explain other things to you. Now, let's move to layers. Basically, you know, just like we did in Canva, you have layers. So all these things are also in layers. Can you see? They are all in layers. They are on top of each other. That is why you have them like this. So if I want to bring this last one to the front, all I just need to click, all I need to do is just click on the layer and drag it to the top. Can you see? So if I want to bring this one to the top, all I need to do is just drag it above that particular layer. Can you see? So it's just very, very simple. Very, very simple to work with. Then libraries, you have nothing here because you've not imputed anything. So just leave it like that. Just work with the properties, basically. Then um, the layers, that's all you need to create wonderful designs. So if I press Ctrl-0, it will just give me the perfect shape of the artboard. Then I can delete everything we've done, all the things we've done. So like I said earlier, it is very easy to create logo with Illustrator. Yes. So you can create basic logos with Illustrator and you can create wonderful logos and wonderful flyers with Illustrator. So yes, you can also create beautiful icons, beautiful icons with Illustrator. So let us just quickly create a simple logo. Let's assume we want to create a very basic logo. You can just do something like this. Now, let me make this a complete fill. Let me cancel the stroke, then make this one black. Okay, so this is a rectangle. I can create a very wonderful logo with this rectangle. So let's let's just quickly work with it. So we have this like this. Then I just hold down the um, option key. So on your computer, that should be your alt. On your on your Windows computer, that should be your alt key. So on MacBook, it's option. So I'm holding down the option key. Then I drag it to the left. I mean to the right let me do that again so that you can follow i hold down the alt key make sure you see this double that's double um cursor can you see when it's close to it it shows that double cursor while i'm holding down the alt key which is the option key on mac so i drag then i hold down shift let me do that again alt drag hold down shift to maintain a very straight line then i release it then I now, I now press Ctrl D, which is Command D on your Mac, to duplicate the exact same action. Can you see? So it's very, very simple. I've duplicated the three of them. They are perfectly arranged. So let me reduce this guy. Um, let me reduce this. I come to the edge here. I reduce this a little bit. Then I press Ctrl 0 again to bring it back. So I've done this this way. Now, the next thing I need to do is let me duplicate this. Okay. 
just like I did earlier. I duplicate this. I press the option again or the alt. I duplicate this. Then I press this. I press my options to see the options. Then I click on um, where is it? I click on transform. Then I click on reflect. So reflect. I just click on copy. So I'm just trying to show you, but basically you can do it without doing that. So I've already copied it. I just shift and turn it around. Okay. So I drag it to the center, make it perfectly aligned. Can you see? So it is aligned that way. So if I'm not sure, I can highlight it. Then I come to the alignment and click on this one, vertical, vertical align top. I click on it, then it align everything for me. Can you see guys? So now what we need to do is we need to bring this and this together. Basically, we've created a logo, a basic logo. Let me show it to you. Can you see? Can you see what we've done? So I can reduce it and centralize it. So this is a very wonderful logo that we've created in a very, very short period of time. Now you can also play around. You can see make um, other wonderful logos with all these tools you can just draw a square then make it round edge a little bit then you can even bring this in you can bring this in remember the layer but let's change the color first change it to white then go to the layer panel let's drag this rectangle this dark rectangle to the bottom can you see so we've created another we've transformed it to another wonderful logo can you see transformed it to another wonderful logo so this software is very very easy to work with you can create so many wonderful things with this software just like facebook logo we can also create something like that draw a perfect square make this a round edge then go to your text then type f f okay so after typing F, we make it big. Then we change the font. We need to use a nice font, just like the one they use. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's see. Which one can we work with? Which one looks very close to it? As you can see, I have so many fonts here. I have so many fonts. So let me just work with this since we are just doing this for test. Now let me change the color. Let me change the color. Um, let me change it to blue. Now if, like you all know, this is not the exact color of Facebook. So I can just come here to change the shade facebook color is a little bit dark okay so this can come here then we will change this to white very simple so let's resize everything hold down shift and adjust it a little bit can you see so make this f a little bit bold okay so let's just centralize it very good so basically we've designed something as simple as a Facebook logo. So like I said, you can design so many wonderful designs here. You can do so many wonderful things here. And the wonderful thing about Illustrator is that Illustrator is a vector application. Yes, vector application means that um, no matter how much you increase it, it will still maintain the exact same sharpness because it is a vector file. It is not a pixel file. It is not a pixel um, application just like Photoshop. Okay. So it is just very, very good. All right. So basically that is it. In the subsequent lessons, I'll be walking you through the process of designing wonderful, wonderful logos. Yes. We'll, do, we'll be doing so many practicals on logo design and poster designs on Illustrator. Then I'll also teach you how to design wonderful icons. Yes, you can do, you can design so many wonderful icons on Illustrator. Okay, so I'll see you in the next section, guys.